when you have butterflies and you're feeling anxious and, and you have anxiety or, or nervous, um, that's when you're most powerful, I believe. A lot of people, instead of homing this power and using it, uh, they allow it to just consume them. A big challenge or big pressure is like a fire. It's like a raging fire. Either you can allow this fire to consume you and just take you over completely, or you can gain control of this fire and harness it. I try to get my emotions under control and use this adrenaline to my advantage. Will you fall? Will you give in? Will you rise above it all? And unleash your visions and ideas and gifts on the world. All you can do is all you can do. See, you gotta prepare to win. The first few plays are critical. You gotta hit him hard and show him who's boss. To see somebody's gonna quit, you or him. And you gotta look for every weakness. See, when he starts sweating hard, you know you got him on the run, hit him hard, knock him out, we chalk him up. Hit him hard, knock him out, and we chalk him up. If he starts bleeding, you know you about got him. Hit him hard, knock him out, and we chalk him up. Or will you be heavily distracted? But we all have it. Use it. Share it. That's what counts. When you have butterflies and you're feeling anxious and, and you have anxiety or, or nervous, um, that's when you're most powerful, I believe. Um, a lot of people, instead of homing this power and using it, uh, they allow it to just consume them. A big challenge or big pressure is like a fire. It's like a raging fire. Either you can allow this fire to consume you and just take you over completely, or you can gain control of this fire and harness it. I try to get my emotions under control and use this adrenaline to my advantage. key to winning is not talent, it's not looks, it's not degrees. I believe the key to winning is being the best you can possibly be. I believe if you're proud of your abilities and your opportunity, if you look in the mirror and you say, that guy's supposed to win, you know? He's supposed to be somebody. And you go out there and you go fight. All you can do is all you can do. There ain't nothing more than all you can do. That is the absolute maximum. You can't do no more than all you can do. You understand that? All you can do is all you can do. All you can do is everything. That's the absolute ultimate, right? Is all you can do is all you can do. But all you can do is enough. In 
you be the best you can be, you're going to have a lot of defeats along the way. It, it, you're going to be in so many situations that look so hopeless. But if you just keep being the best you can be, it's going to look impossible at times. Just keep being the best you can be. Is all you can do is all you can do. But all you can do is enough. The major key to your reaching your dream, your living up to your greatness, your making your contribution, is you. Know that you are capable of all of the growth that will be expected of you and that you expect from yourself. You will tackle every challenge headed your way. And if you don't, it won't be for lack of trying. So find something important to you. Find something that you love. You already have inside of you all of the amazing things you need to follow the dreams that you have. You know within yourself that there's something you want to do and I believe that all of us were born with a purpose. That all of us have something that we are supposed to do. That all of us have some goodness within us and that goodness gives us a responsibility. to manifest our greatness and when you know that you can feel it in your guts and you know that you're deliberately operating below your potential you've gotten comfortable but it was challenging but I did it Repeat out to me, please. No matter how bad it is, or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. It's possible. I can have my dream. I can get what I want. I must be creative and never give up.